to check if a number is divisible by 7 we find the difference between twice the last digit and the number formed by other digits if that difference is either 0 or a multiple of 7 then the number is also divisible by 7 so let's check the divisibility of 7 in the given numbers first is 889 so what we have to do we have to take the last digit so here last digit is 9 now twice the last digit so 2 multiplied by 9 it will give us 18 then we have to write the remaining number that is 88 now subtract this 18 from 88 the difference will be 70 now as you can see that 70 is a multiple of 7 which means that 889 is divisible by 7 now look at the next number 2975 here the last digit is 5 so last digit is equals to 5 now twice the last digit that means 2 multiplied by 5 this will give us 10 write the remaining number so after uh, by eliminating 5 the remaining number is 297 now we have to subtract this 10 from 297 so we got here 287 now again it is not clear that if it this number is divisible by 7 or not so what we can do again we can perform the same steps take 7 multiply it by 2 you will get 14 remaining number is 28 so from 28 subtract this 14 you will get 7 now 7 is a multiple of 7 which means that 2975 is divisible by 7 To test the divisibility of 8, we check the number formed by its rightmost 3 digits. That means digits at 1's place, 10's place and 100's place. If the number formed by these 3 digits is divisible by 8, then the whole number is also divisible by 8. Let's check the divisibility of 8 in the first number. So here... 5 is at 1's place, 4 is at 10's place and 2 is at 100's place. So the number formed is 245. Now when you will divide 245 by 8, you will get remainder equals to 5. Which means that 245 is not divisible by 8. So if the last three digits, the number formed by last three digits is not divisible by 8, that means this 871245, this whole number is also not divisible by 8. Now let's check the divisibility of 8 in the next number. Here the number is 57896. Here 6 is at 1's place, 9 is at 10's place and 8 is at 100's place. So the number formed is 896. When you will divide 896 by 8, the remainder will be equals to 0. Therefore, we can say that 896 is divisible by 8. So if this number is divisible by 8 then the whole number that is 57,896 is also divisible 
by 8. Children, keep in mind that a number with three zeros at the rightmost side will also be divisible by 8. That means if a number is given to you 1000. So 1000 is completely divisible by 8. Similarly, if there is another number 5000 that will also be divisible by 8. Therefore, number having three zeros at ones, tens and hundreds place will also be divisible by 8. We check the divisibility of 9 in the same way as we do for 3. That means we have to find the sum of its digit. If the sum of its digits is divisible by 9, then the whole number is also divisible by 9. Keep in mind the number which is divisible by 9 is also divisible by 3. So let's check the first number here. 8 plus 7 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5. So 8 plus 7 15 plus 1 16 plus 2 18, 18 plus 4 22 and 22 plus 5 27. So the sum is 27. Here 27 is divisible by 9 which means that this number 8,71,245 is also divisible by 9. The other number is 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 0 plus 6 plus 9. So 2 plus 5 7, 7 plus 7 14, 14 plus 6 20 and 20 plus 9 29. So the sum is 29. 29 is not divisible by 9. Which means if the sum is not divisible, so this number 2,57,069 is also not divisible by 9. A number is divisible by 10 if the rightmost digit that is the digit which is at one's place is 0. As we know that in 10's table we have 10, 20, 30 all the, all the numbers with 0 at one's place. So any number which is having 0 at one's place is divisible by 10. So here you can see the first number is 1000 at one's place the digit is 0 which means that 1000 is divisible by 10. Similarly, in the next question, you have 0 again at 1's place. So, this 9820 is divisible by 10. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference between sums of the alternate digits is either 0 or a multiple of 11. Now, what we have to do to check the divisibility of 11, we have to separate the whole number in the group of 2. Like, let us take the first number. Here we have 7, 0, 1, 6, 9, 8, 0, 3. Now, take one number, the first one, 7. The second number, write in next group. We are making two group. In the first group, we have written the first number, 7. And then second number, that is 0, we have written in second group. Now, the third number, again, this 1 will be written in the first group. Next number 6, write in second group. Then 
the other number 9 in the first one then 8 in the second group again this next number 0 in the first group and the last number 3 in the next group add the numbers the digits which are in the first group so 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 9 17 so the sum is 17 here similarly add the digits given in second group so 6 plus 8 14 14 plus 3 17 so we have found the sum of alternate digits now we have to find out the difference between these sums so here 17 minus 17 the difference is 0 here you can see the difference between the sums of alternate digits is 0 so if the difference is 0 which means this number 7016983 is divisible by 11 let's do one more question next one the number is 3178965 so what we have to do write 3 in the first group 1 in the second group 7 in the first group 8 in the second group 9 in the first group 6 in the second group and 5 in the first group now add all the digits in first group so 3 plus 7 10 10 plus 9 19 and 19 plus 5 24 similarly find the sum of the digits in second group 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 6 15 now we have to find out difference between them so 24 minus 15 so when you will subtract 15 from 24 the difference will be 9 now 9 is not a multiple of 11 which means that the number 3178965 is not divisible by 11. To check the divisibility of 12, we simply check the divisibility of 3 and 4 in that number. If the number is divisible by 3 and 4 both, then that number is also divisible by 12. So let's check the first number. Here the number is 1200. So what we have to do firstly to check the divisibility of 3 we have to find the sum of the digits. So 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 sum is 3. So 3 is a multiple of 3 which means that 1200 is divisible by 3. Now we have to check the divisibility of 4. So check the number formed by the last rightmost two digit. So here the number formed you can see that there are two zeros at ones and tens place. So if in a number there are two zeros at ones and tens place that number is divisible by 4 which means 1200 or 1200 is also divisible by 4 now this 1200 is divisible by 3 as well as by 4 which means 1200 is divisible by 12 also now the next given number is 3852 so first check the divisibility of 3 3 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2 3 plus 8 11 11 plus 5 16 and 16 plus 2 18 we got the sum 18 which is a multiple of 3 
so if 18 is the multiple of 3 this means that 3852 is divisible by 3 now we have to check the divisibility of 4 so write the number formed by last two digits that is right most two digits so we have 2 at 1's place 5 at 10's place therefore the number formed is 52 now 52 is divisible by 4 so if 52 is divisible by 4 this means that 3852 is also divisible by 4 so this 3852 is divisible by 3 as well as by 4 which means that 3852 is also divisible by 12 look at the given question in each of the following numbers replace asterisk by a digit to make the number divisible by 9 in this question a number is given to us in which one digit is missing we have to write the digit at the missing place the missing digit at this place which can make this number divisible by 9 so we know that the divisibility of 9 is that if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 9 that means the whole number is also divisible by 9 so let us find out the sum of the given digits so in first number the digits are 3 7 9 and 4 so find the sum 3 plus 7 plus 9 plus 4 so 3 plus 7 is 10 10 plus 9 19 and 19 plus 4 23 now as we know 23 is not divisible by 9 now the next number after 23 which is divisible by 9 is 27 which is 4 more than 23 we have to add 4 in 23 to make it equals to 27 this means that if we write 4 on the place of this missing number then the sum will be equals to 27 therefore the number formed will be 3 7 9 4 4 at the missing place we have written this 4 now in the next number the digits are 8 7 6 8 so add all the given digits so 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 8 8 plus 7 15 15 plus 6 21 21 plus 8 29 again this 29 is not divisible by 9 and the next number after 29 which is divisible by 9 is 36 we know that 9 threes are 27 and 9 fours are 36 so after 29 the next number this 29 is not divisible after this number we have 36 which is a multiple of 9 now the difference between 36 and 29 is 7 which means we have to add 7 in 29 to get 36 therefore at the place of this missing number we have to write 7 so that the number could be divisible by 9 therefore the number form will be 7 8 7 6 8